Hey everybody, this is Perch. All right, um, a couple of you have written in recently about how I'd write a particular character. And I wanna, you know, first of all, draw your attention to the fact that I'm not a writer. We have a lot of good ones in this channel between, uh, you know, Jeff Thorne and Joe Casey and Joe Corallo and uh, I, Jim Zub. And like, I'm mean, like, you've got legitimate great writers there. So uh, I do get though, I'm not getting a job at Marvel or DC anytime soon. So you could ask me and I'll tell you my pitches because they're not hiring me. And those guys uh, would probably have, you know, it, it, it would be, I would advise them not to respond to those kinds of mails because, you know, they may actually get a job at these companies. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to ruin it. Anyway, lots of good writers out there. Plenty of people have been on the show. But uh, here's another mail asking me how I'd write a specific character, in this case, another DC character. I just had somebody ask me how I'd write uh, Green Lantern and the Flash. So uh, let's, let's take this and see where it goes. It says, uh, Dear Perch, I'm curious to get your take of how you would write Batman. Batman, obviously the book that DC is most dependent on. We've seen a variety of writers from Scott Snyder to Tom King uh, to, uh, I can't, I don't know what you're writing here. There's, there's a name here I do not recognize. It looks like just a bunch of letters. And I don't think this is me being an idiot. I think something spazzed out on your computer there. Anyway, I get the idea though. Um, okay. How would, uh, all right. How would you reinvent Batman in a world where, ah, you know what happened there? Autocorrect. Autocorrect fucked you right there. That's, that's what happened. I think you met Chip Zdarsky and that just came out insane. Uh, so that, that's what was going on. Took me a bit. Anyway, uh, how would you write Batman in a world where Bat DC has roughly 50, com it's not that many, 50 comics uh, featuring Batman every month? How do you make the character stand out? What would you do that would be different for Batman? Um, love your show. Thank you. Okay, cool. I, I don't take compliments very well. Anyway. Uh, Batman. I, to me, Batman is harder. Of all the characters, I feel like I have a good handle on what I would do for Superman, Captain America, Green Lantern, uh, the X-Men, the Avengers, uh, the Hulk. I have ideas for all of them. Batman's one of the hardest because my idea is, is to be honest, it's it's somewhat lame in that it, it's, it's rather simple. I think with Batman, the problem that you have is that writers go back to a couple very common things over and over and over with the character. The common things are, it's like, I can solve any problem because I'm Batman. I am also somewhat of an outsider. I don't hang out with the rest of the Justice League because I'm Batman. At some point, the Joker is going to show up and just fuck up Gotham, and then I'm going to have to solve it because I'm Batman. And you kind of get those plots in constant succession, and then you get this kind of, you know, variety of... Uh, Batman supporting cast coming in and out. It's like, hey, you know, let's do, let's do some stuff where he, you know, give Barbara Gordon something to do, and you know, oh, the Bat family, and the Bat family's a family, even though Batman doesn't necessarily trust others, and he's uh, he's frequently doing things on his own and not uh, living up to his family. And the lesson of this story is that he's got to learn how to trust his family. I, I, I mean. I don't know. Those get tired to me very, very quickly. And I think that's uh, that's the problem that a lot of Batman comics have is you basically have just a small handful of stories that you wind up doing. It's it's more or less, you know, Batman uh, has to defeat the Joker's latest schemes, and we know he will. Batman is got some dirt on the Justice League, like he's, you know, he's he's hacked into their computers and figured out what kind of porn they whack off to. And now he's holding over their heads or, you know, Batman's got his own plan, but he's not sharing it with everyone. I mean, I, for the love of Christ, I can't read another Batman comic where it's like, you know, Batman's got a plan, but he's not telling everyone the plan. And because contrivances, this means that things are going to be risky, but, but Batman, you know, is going to keep it to himself until the last possible second. And then I, I just, I, you know, how, you can't go to the well of like, Batman, you can't keep secret plans anymore. Your Bat family is here to support you. I know, I know. I will rely on my family because my family is a family and I get strength through my family. I thank you, Red Hood and Jason Todd and, and, and all of you. You are my family and even you, Damien, you're a little prick, but 
still, I, I, you are my family, and I've, I've learned an important lesson here today, and now I'm going to go over here, and we're going to secretly tape children in or orphanages to try and figure out who's a villain and not tell anyone, and then later my family's going to discover this and give me a lecture, and then I'm going to have to say I, I love my family again. Fuck, no more. If I was doing Batman, I would lean into the detective side of him, and I know that writers have said this before, but it always kind of feels like they say this, but they don't actually mean it. And so what I would try and do is get to a, a long running storyline. And I would, um, you know, I would lay it on inspiration from, you know, Sherlock Holmes or stories with a lot of twists in the weirdest possible way. And this, this, what I'm about to say, you're, you're, you're all going to hate, but I would like to see a Batman detective story with um, kind of usual suspects, Shyamalan level twists through it. I want Batman in a in a long 18 issue or more game of cat and mouse against a really clever villain. I'd like to introduce probably a new villain. I don't want the villain to have crazy costumes or look garish or stupid. I, I'd actually have the villain look like, um, you know, uh, the, the American psycho, uh, character, I, I'd probably, I'd want him to look like a kind of a corporate suit, but have the guy be like photographic memory, super intelligent, super sadistic, serial killer, and kind of, you know, matching wits with Batman, but I'd have it go for a long time and no, um, you can have the various rogues gallery come and go. You can have one issue where killer Croc shows up and just eat something or whatever, but by and large, I'd keep it rooted in the Moriarty of Sherlock Holmes. I'd have it be a incredibly clever villain who is not doing kind of goofy riddles or anything like that. I, I like these villains, by the way. I'm not, I'm not disparaging them. I, I am by how I'm describing it, but I don't mean to. I just want to have somebody who puts Batman through his paces as a detective, not with a bunch of like crazy, you know, supervillain antics, but as somebody who's truly kind of one step ahead of him as a plan and I would have the comics for a while end on a twist. Like every comic would end with uh, Batman just kind of one step behind this villain who is just constantly finding out new ways to like, like and just as, and like, and the villain would frame other people. And it, it's a little bit like kind of what they started to scratch the itch with, with Hush. But I, I wouldn't, um, it doesn't need to be like, like that. It doesn't. You don't need to, again, make the guy look like a mummy. And again, nothing wrong. You know, part of the, the joy of both Batman and Spider-Man is that they have these larger-than-life, super crazy visual villains. But in, in this case, I would have the character just be a super sadistic kind of serial killer. And I would end the 18-issue arc of the serial killer getting away. I would have him, you know, defeat Batman in a sense, like have Batman foil his plot. So, you know, maybe he's kidnapping people to torture them, or I, I don't know. Like, he's he's doing something really sadistic and evil, but Batman has to truly be a detective. But don't make it a boring detective story. Have it be a thrilling detective story. Have, have Batman, like, truly, like, getting into a variety of traps, and he's kind of having to escape, and he's playing this, this long game of increasing tension cat and mouse with a lot of lives on the line. And and have Batman fail a couple times so that the you know it, it the stakes are really driven in. But I would try and do that because I would I would want an arc that truly shows Batman being clever and pulling out all the stops to try and and defeat this villain. In this story arc, I would have Batman willingly like fuck it. This guy is uh, is staying one step ahead of me. I need the Bat family. I wouldn't have the Bat family like hanging around going, you know, we could have helped you if you just would have asked, you, you're like a dickhead. And Batman's like, no, I got to take care of some of these things on my own. No, like I'd have Batman, like that would be, that would drill in the seriousness of the situation by having Batman reach out for help to the family of, I, like, I, I need, I, this guy is, is, or, you know, this villain is getting away from me. I need your help. And I would just have this villain kind of outwitting Batman but Batman's getting an inch closer, an inch closer, and kind of build up the tension. Half comics end in just like a crazy cliffhanger of what's going to happen and a, and a twist of, 
you think you have them and it's not, and I would put red hair, I would try and really go all in on having a huge detective murder mystery, high tension, high stakes, stakes get higher every issue. And, you know, bring in the Justice League, like, like literally, you know, have him reach out for help for Superman and realize that Superman's not a lot of good against a kind of, uh, you know, serial killer who's ground level. To me, that would be a, a wonderful Batman story to kind of lean into those detective tropes, do some of the things like that, give Batman a true threat that, that is not a giggling, cackling villain, and instead uh, give him something that is truly kind of chilling. That's what I would do. So what do you think? Let me know in your comments below. How would you write Batman? I'm sure entirely different. So let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.